From the Metro East to New York City, airmen from Scott Air Force Base suit up to fight on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. The last group sent to Ground Zero returned tonight, and a few told News 4's Venton Blandin about their experience. The landing of an Air Force Reserve C-40 Charlie signifies mission accomplished for nearly two dozen airmen. I think that they, they learned, uh, first of all, what it really meant to, to serve the nation in that time of crisis. These six airmen coming off the plane today at Scott Air Force Base are part of a larger group of 22 who spent about a month or so working the front lines of the coronavirus. Senior Airman Carrie Leonardo is one of the final six deployed from the Metro East to New York, Connecticut and New Jersey. It was a great learning experience and I was just glad to have this opportunity. There was triage involved, there was checking the patients, there was working on ventilators. They, they did the whole nine yards of medical care. The entire team worked day and night with medical professionals all over ground zero. I felt like I was helping New York City who was hit pretty hard. Uh, so being in the hospital and helping the patients who obviously couldn't do anything for themselves, it was a great honor. Most of the patients treated by the airmen were on ventilators. One thing to be in a hospital where a few patients are ill, but to walk into an environment where a majority of them are was kind of kind of sad. The service members were trained and ready, but admit the deployment has taken a toll. When we're in our break rooms, we, we try to laugh, we try to like make jokes and like keep it light. And then once we get into oh, the ICU rooms, we're like there to work and like do our job. That was a challenge, but so was moving from patient to patient comfortably. We had an N95, then we had a surgical mask, then we had a surgical hat, and then we had a face shield. And on top of that, we had on a gown, so it was pretty hot. The airmen pushed through and gave it their all, but still wonder, was it enough? You don't really know if they're really getting better or getting worse. They're, we're just all doing our best to you know, like support them. On Scott Air Force Base, Vincent Blandon, News 4. The medical group superintendent says all six airmen returning tonight will be monitored for the next 14 days to make sure that they are all free from the coronavirus and not able to pass it on to others. Well, Sam